Are you looking for the ultimate family camper? This 75 International Lodestar with a Ward school bus body converted to a camper is the ultimate in family camping. Safe, big wheels, drives well, strong 345 International engine, brakes are good, new steering box, it's been well maintained. I have all the records since we bought it in 1996 and made the conversion. This is a one of a kind family camper that will create memories that your family will never forget. Painted on the outside to look like a woody surf mobile from the 1950s and 60s. This camper is good looking on both the outside and the inside. You will always have people wanting to stop and visit with you. Yes, that's a chimney you see. Inside the main living room is a sheep herder stove that really does an excellent job of heating the main part of the camper on those cold fall mornings. But the firebox is small enough that you don't need to pack much wood and it won't drive you out by the heat. The 345 engine in International is a very strong truck motor. It only has a two barrel carburetor so it won't snap your head back. But cruising down the road you average eight miles to the gallon. The lowest is about six. Sometimes you get as high as ten miles to the gallon. See the red ignition? I replaced the old points and condenser ignition with an electronic ignition a few years back. Mallory electronic ignition. And that really improved the running and the gas mileage. Notice the wheels. Those are 21 inch wheels. If you drag a wheel on this thing off the road, you don't even feel it. You just ease back on the road. This panel right under the driver's seat is the battery, the RV batteries. They charge off the engine. Or if you have 110 power, there's a, a battery charger under the couch that charges these batteries. There's an isolator that keeps it, keeps it from draining your engine battery. And also the engine battery has a cutoff switch to ensure that there's no drain on it. These batteries will go a long time. You can go a week on what this thing needs uh, on these batteries easily. This is the gray water drain. And a few years back I added a black water drain that is back here behind the rear wheel. You can drain both without moving the bus into uh, most RV dump stations. And uh, with, you know, you just move the hose from the one to the other. This panel, I'm not going to bother to open it. It's kind of heavy, but it's got an old Kohler generator in it. It actually doesn't run anymore. I've had plans to replace it with a smaller, quieter generator, but just haven't gotten around to it. But the space is there, and the wiring is there. This panel gives you access to the propane tank. It's a 60-pound propane tank. And I've only had to fill it twice in almost 20 years. Uh, you run your stove on it, you run a couple of propane lanterns on it, and that's it. That little uh, film canister you see sticking out next to that piece of wood is a, uh, an extra outlet that you can plug a barbecue into. It's got a quick release coupling there. This back door opens. This is the, actually opens the, on the bedroom. And you can store stuff under the bed there like camp chairs and the barbecue sits under there. Also there's a uh, trailer receiver hitch with uh, two plugs for trailer lights. And I have a bicycle rack that goes into that receiver hitch. And it actually can pivot and swing away so you can still open the door without taking the bicycle rack off. This is the fill valve for the uh, potable water. Put a new tank in there about two years ago. Holds almost 40 gallons. The traditional school bus door. These bells we've collected from various places we've been in this thing. And here's the cockpit. This is your light panel. You can turn on your clearance lights, uh, dome light, wipers. Each operate off an individual switch, left side, right side, defroster fans, left side, right side, foot warmer, auxiliary heater that actually has a radiator heater back under the couch here. Heats up the whole cab of the place when you're going down the road. All your controls are here and they function fine. This is the glove box. And here's the cockpit. 
You can see the gauges. You've got a temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, fuel gauge, uh, amp meter, speedometer, of course. And uh, it's a manual, four speeds forward with a two speed rear end. So effectively, and then it's got a dead man emergency brake, fire extinguisher, and there's your control for opening and closing the door. This is your in the cab rear view mirror. Keep your eye on the family, and when the door's propped open in the back, you can actually see out the back window. See if anybody's directly behind you. Great truck mirrors on the side. Your view from the cockpit overlooking that uh, raging stallion hood ornament. And then your truck mirror on the other side. And close the doors, lock it, you're ready to go. From the cockpit, right behind the cockpit is a couch. Underneath it is the uh, potable water supply. You can kind of see the level through that hole cut in the front there. That vent you see is the auxiliary heater that runs off the engine. And uh, the battery charger and the electric panel are underneath this. This couch pulls out and makes into a bed that will sleep too. You see the kitchen counter there. Four sets of drawers, three cabinets, a little uh, sink lap drawer, and a uh, utility drawer. Double sink. No hot water heater. We've just heated water in a pot on the stove. We found that to be more than adequate. And then you have a four burner propane stove and oven. All of the woodwork is birch veneer. I did the work myself. We bought this thing in 1996. And uh, it's been a work in progress, but uh, we've really had some fun with it. These cabinets, canned goods and the like. This lamp, there's two of these, one in the bedroom and one here. These are uh, little uh, propane gas lamps. And if it's chilly outside, you run this thing at night, it takes the edge off, keeps it quite nice inside. Every other window opens, they all open, but every other window has a screen on it so that you can open them for uh, cross ventilation and those curtains all untie and close. And then I was telling you about the sheep herder stove. There it is. Uh, so you can see that little firebox. That's it. It's just a small little firebox. That's actually the oven. You could cook with this if you wanted to. Uh, and chimney runs up and out the roof. The roof uh, is painted blue, sky blue, and has clouds on it. And then we've kind of got this Italian bistro look in the kitchen area. Grape leaves in the lattice up there. Air conditioner. Those cupboards hold all your uh, dishes and, and whatnot. And then you've got a little dinette here, comfortably seats four, and also makes into a bed. Magazine rack. Now as we head toward the back, I'm going to show you two bunks. These are kind of submarine style bunks. You can see the opening. I'll get a little closer here in a second. One, two. And these have uh, single bed mattresses in them and are quite comfortable. Our kids just loved them. They were ensconced in there and they each have a little reading light. So they can sit in there and listen to music or uh, read if they want. See the brick paint, faux paint? Uh, my wife painted uh, brick faux paint all around below the windows throughout the bus. Um, you can even see them at the very front there. Continuing back, it's a little hard to see here. It's kind of dark, but this is an ice box, not a refrigerator. That was our next project was to actually put a refrigerator in, and there's plenty of room to put a refrigerator in here. This is an ice box. We've just bought ice and, and kept our stuff cool with that. There are four large drawers down here uh, that the kids use for clothes. There's one closet above the four drawers, and uh, they're quite roomy, and they're sort of backlit by the windows. This is the door going into the uh, bedroom. 
uh, the, the master suite, if you will, with an ensuite bathroom. It's a full-size bread. Again, you see the uh, brick faux paint uh, below the windows. Above the windows, it's more of a, a evening sky, and there's a bunch of little white glow-in-the-dark stars on the ceiling. And when you turn the lights out at night, they all glow, and it's like you're sleeping under the stars. It's a little cupboard above the bed, the other gas lamp. Windows on both sides. Of course, the rear window, that's the door that opens. There's storage under the bed here. There's a gun rack there that you can store fishing poles on. This is a uh, propane catalytic heater. I always turn that on in the morning for my wife to kind of warm it up before she got up. And then your ensuite bathroom. Uh, this is a flush toilet into the black water tank. That was a fairly new addition about mm, two years ago. And uh, there is no sink in here because we just use the sink that's in the kitchen for washing our faces and those sorts of things. But there is, if this exposure comes in, there is a cupboard here above the uh, toilet that you can keep your toiletries in. Here's a shot from the back of the bus toward the front. And I'll just walk out here. Dinette on the right, couch on the left. So you can see this thing can comfortably sleep eight. And here's a shot of the dinette, end of the couch, kitchen, all the way back. You can see the full bed in the back of the bus and out the rear window into our barn where this bus has been stored for the past six years.